What's up guys? Today I want to talk a little bit about Pokemon Go and uh, then discontinuing support to some Apple devices. Alright, so it says here that on the 28th they are going to discontinue support to um, any Apple device that doesn't support iOS 11. So they have a list here. So your iPad 2, your iPad mini, your iPad from third generation, your iPad from fourth generation, your iPhone 5s, and your iPhone 5C, right? So here we do have actually an iPhone 5. This used to be my, my girlfriend's old uh, phone before she got her new one here. But um, she still hopes to play Pokemon Go on this. And um, even sometimes the kids will still hop onto it and play the account or whatever. Um, so yeah, in 19 days, the account on this phone is going to be useless. Uh, unless I upgrade a phone. Now luckily for me, this doesn't affect me too much as all the other kids, we have um, uh, tablets for them. So all their tablets are going to be fine, and obviously the cell phones. Um, all this stuff is from Android, so we're not going to be affected with any of this stuff. Um, so all the other kids' accounts should be okay. So it's the only one iPhone that we have that's Apple, and that's the only thing that we own out of all the devices that's not Android. So for us, like I said, only this Android is going to be affected. Now the thing on it is they give you 19 days to upgrade your phone, right? So they're telling you if you don't upgrade your phone within 19 days, you, you don't get to play after those 19 days. So not all people want to upgrade, right? So my girlfriend, for instance, she's not a gamer. She doesn't care about the cell phone itself. Um, she uses it for work or to make calls. So the iPhone 5 for her would have been fine. Um, obviously, I got her a new phone afterwards, but that's beside the point. There's some people out there that still do have iPhone 5s. And they're okay with their iPhone 5. They don't want to upgrade. They don't, they don't want that. They don't want to sign another two-year contract for a new device. They're happy with their iPhone 5. It does what they want for it. And they could have put money on Pokemon Go to play the app. But in 19 days, they're not going to be able to know anymore. Even if they put money on their game, they're not allowed to play it anymore. Now, for me, personally, I spent a lot of money on Pokemon Go. On every one of these accounts, I spent well over $100 on all these accounts. And mine and Mark's, even more, right? Way, way more money than I even want to talk about how much we spent on this game. With that being said, in six months from now, is there going to be another patch that's going to force my son not to be able to play on his tablet? Right? Like, I know this is only affecting Apple at the moment. And for me, I'm lucky enough to not have to deal with it, as all the kids' accounts are on tablets. However, I know there's going to be other families out there that are not as lucky. Right? Uh, and, and I'm just speaking on a point of... Because I have, I have kids, so I'm just speaking from that point of view as a parent that also has kids that also play Pokemon Go with their kids. And maybe you let them use their old tablets or their old their old iPads or their old iPhones, right? So even if they did get a new iPhone, maybe they pass their iPhone 5 to their kid to have to play apps on, on, uh, on the phone, including Pokemon Go. And then you can tether your data so that your kids can just tether internet off of you even if the phone's not active, right? So your kids can still play with you. Now, this is how we actually use this phone. So I know there's other families out there for sure that are doing the same thing with their kids and they're pretty much not going to be able to do it in 19 days. This is not a very much even warning to tell you you have 19 days to go to your cell phone provider and upgrade your device. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Pokemon Go and we play it quite often and like I said, I spent way more money into this game than I even want to talk about, <laughs> right? So, I obviously love the game, my family loves the game without playing it. However, there's going to be families out there that... This is a terrible. This is terrible for them. Because all their children may not be able to play the game no more 
because Niantic is forcing this patch. Now I've been a gamer since I was little and something like this is just unheard of. So you even take other games on PlayStation 4 or let's talk Destiny 1 way back uh, on PlayStation 3. They had it for PlayStation 4 and um, what happened is you could play it on both, right? So you could still play it on PlayStation 3, but when the technology got too high tech, they stopped adding patches to the PlayStation 3 version and only added it to the PlayStation 4 version. But you could still play the game on the PlayStation 4 just without the new patches. That's it. Right? So, so why can't they do that with this? Especially if somebody paid real money to play this game, right? So, like, and Destiny 2 was like an $80 game. People spent even way more money than that on Pokemon Go, right? So if you're spending $80 for a AAA game and you're spending $200, $300, $500 on Pokemon Go, you would think that you should be getting $500 for the quality if you're spending $500 in that game, right? Whereas you can take a console game that you spend $80 for, 10, 20 years later, you're still able to play that game on the exact console that you paid for it on, right? In this case, the exact device that you paid for it on. Now, whatever's coming new, I'm sure they have some big thing that's happening. Maybe. I'm assuming that's what's, what they're doing. On um, why they're forcing you to upgrade. But whatever it is, just disable it on these phones. Right? So, how you can chase the Pokemon in real life. Well, this on these phones, on the old iPhones or iPads, disable it there. So, when you try to activate activate the, uh, the track the Pokemon, it said that's not available on this device. The tracking itself, the game itself shouldn't be disabled, right? Like, there's nothing going to be high tech about this game in Pokemon Go that you're going to need a whole different device to play it on. For them to do this, it's, it's beyond, I don't even understand why this would be a thing. The only thing I can possibly think of is if they teamed up with Apple and they're actually trying to force their Apple users to upgrade to new phones, right? Because there's so many people that play this game, play Pokemon Go. And uh, if they're teaming up with Apple, like if Niantic is teaming up with Nap Apple and being like, hey, okay, well, we can tell them, you know what I mean, they can't play on the old devices. Some people are going to go out and buy new iPhones, right? Apple's going to make more money off of this update. You're right. They're going to make a lot of money, right? And that's fine. However, the people that don't have the money to buy new devices for all their children, that kind of sucks for them. But like I said, I was lucky enough that it didn't affect me, because this is the only device that uh, it affected. So everything else is going to be fine. So I don't have to worry in this case, but I know there's so many people out there that are going to have to deal with this problem. And this is something that you shouldn't have to deal with if you spent money on, on a game. This is not something they should have to deal with at all. And now, even with that being said, now, do I have to worry about all these devices having to be replaced? Maybe maybe Niantic will cut a deal with Android in the future and, and make you have to upgrade to a newer version of, uh, of an Android. Uh, I don't know. Um, I, I, right now, I feel sorry for all the people that are going to be forced to, to change. And I feel so sorry that Niantic has only given people 19 days to do this. Um, yeah. Uh, I've never, I've never heard of a company treating their their customers like this. And like I said, people spend so much, so much money on a Pokemon Go. It's ridiculous, you know. Um, I don't know. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Maybe share this video on your Facebook. We're just a nobody, small YouTuber. Niantic's not even gonna get to see our video. Um, maybe if. The few people that do watch it, if you shared it on your Facebook, somebody else will see it and they play Pokemon Go and maybe they'll share it. Maybe somehow they can get to Niantic and they can try to fix this for all the children that they're going to be affecting uh, by doing this. Anyways, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, anyways, see you guys all in the next video.